Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Beko DVS 05C 20W Slimline Dishwasher. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dishwasher some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just for a start, I'm just going to show you the dimensions on it because this one is slightly slimmer than normal. I think you will have noticed that by now. So the width of it is 45 centimeters, around 17 and a half inches wide. Front to back, so the depth of it, including the pipe work, you do need to allow for that as well. Then really looking at say 61 centimeters to the front here, uh, or around 24 inches. Or if you want to include the dial at the front, then really need to allow 62 centimeters or around 24 and a half inches. So just have a quick measure, make sure it'll fit in the space before you order it. To open the dishwasher, nice and easy, just pull the door open like that. You've not got a latch or anything inside, you are just pulling the door open. So that's, that's always a, a good design. As we go to the top basket first, you'll notice that all of these are actually fixed. So on some dishwashers, you can actually fold some of these down but Becco have decided on this particular model that everything's going to be fixed, which is not an issue. We've still got plenty of space at the top here to put all your cups and glasses. And also you've got these sections just on the right hand side of the drawer so that you can put either things like a long bread knife or little espresso cups. And also you can change the height of these, which personally I actually really like. So that's quite pretty unique actually. Not many manufacturers can you alter the height of that. And then if you don't want to use them, you just clip them back up and then they just sit to the side. As we go to the bottom basket, then you'll notice that these are slightly darker in colour. And that basically means that you can fold them down if you want to. So if you have got a, a large pan or, for example, a, a large cooking dish, then you've got a nice flat area to put that on rather than trying to place it on top of the, the tines here. You'll also find you've got a small cutlery basket. So it's slightly smaller than normal, but I suppose because it is a slimline dishwasher, then you don't normally need the full size basket because it does take up extra space at the bottom as well. You can open these up if you want to. Uh, I think some people tend to just place everything here loosely, uh, but you've got other people that would like to place the cutlery well within each section. Which one are you? If you've got a dishwasher at home that you're using at the moment, would you put your knives and forks and spoons in here to separate everything? Or are you one of those people that you just put everything in here? Personally, I just tend to leave it open because I try to put more in there. But you can find sometimes the actual washing performance with leaving it open isn't quite as good. But uh, let me know in the comments below which one you would use. But the advantage of having this kind of design, so you've got two slots, is that it can sit anywhere at the bottom. So it can either go at the front or can go at the back as well. If I just take the, take the bottom basket out, you will notice that inside it is a full stainless steel interior. That's something I always comment on when I'm doing my videos. Some manufacturers are still insisting on going with the cheaper Polynox or plastic bases. And they're not as good. Doesn't matter what the manufacturer says. I always prefer the full stainless interior. It's much stronger. Uh, I, we have had a customer where they've dropped something before on a plastic base and it's cracked it. And clearly that's the basically the end of its life. But if you were to drop something, say a cup or something like that, on a stainless steel interior, then it's not going to be an issue. As far as maintenance, it is quite easy. You can just pull the lower spray arm out like that if you wanted to give it a quick rinse. And also the filter. So you've got two sections to this. First of all, you just pull that out. So you can just take the, take the filter out, give that a good wash over. And you can pull the centre section out as well. That's where you get the, the main food debris. So you don't have to pull all that out to pull that centre section out if you want to clean that more regularly. But that just pop it back in there like that. And then you just twist it. You've got the salt to refill on the left hand side. I always recommend using proper dishwasher salt. Uh, even if you are using one of the say three or four in one tablets, then I still recommend using dishwasher salt just helps to regenerate the machine and stops the buildup of lime scale. And at the front here, you've got the section where you'll put the tablet or the gel pouch, depending on which one you're using. You just put that in there before the start of the wash, click that into place, and then that will open automatically partway through the washing process. Also on the right hand side here, you've got the rinse aid. And similar to the salt at the back, I do recommend using a good quality rinse aid so even if you are using 3-in-1 or 4-in-1 tablets in here, 
then I'd still recommend using rinse aid as well. Mainly because you will find that the performance of the wash and definitely everything as it comes out at the end will be better if you're using separate salt and rinse aid as well. As we turn the dishwasher on, you'll notice that you've got a really nice clear red LED display. So it's just indicating, I suppose, what it's doing or what you need to be doing. First of all, it is telling me that I need to refill the salt and rinse aid. Clearly this is a brand new model. I've just got it in my showroom at the moment. It's not in a customer's house. So at least it's a good indicator to tell me what I need to be doing. But as you go around here, you've got several different programs. I'll just run through some of these. Uh, first of all, we've got the Eco 50 degree program. Uh, this is suitable for washing dishes with normal amount of soil. So it's the most efficient program in terms of combined power and water consumption. Uh, and this is the one, so this is the program that it's used to measure for the energy label. I'll, I'll cover that a bit more in a moment. Uh, you will find that the time duration on this one, so it'll take around 210 minutes, uh, use approximately 12 litres of water and consume around 0.76 kilowatt hours of energy. So overall, quite a long program, at just over, well, 210 minutes. Uh, that's one thing that you don't get on here. Although you've got a display, it doesn't show you the time remaining of the program. That's the only thing that Beko could have put on here, but I suppose they reserve that for some of the slightly higher models in the range. As you come around to the next one, intensive 70 degrees. So this is really for uh, heavily soil pots and pans. I suppose if you've done things like a Sunday roast where you've got very greasy pots and pans, then that's the program to use. Uh, it's slightly quicker, so it's 115 minutes. Uh, uses around 15 litres of water and consumes around 1.28 kilowatt hours of energy. I'm not just guessing this, I am reading the instructions. So there is a little table here. Uh, I'd always recommend having a quick look at the instructions, first of all, just to see which programs are best for your needs um, before you start to use it. If you follow me on YouTube for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of instructions. I do like to try and figure things out for myself. But when it comes to things like this, then I do recommend having a quick read, first of all. Uh, the next program on here, this is called Clean and Shine. And this is a 65 degree wash. And this is ideal for daily washing program for normally soil dishes. Uh, again, it's a relatively quick, well, quickish wash. So 120 minutes, consumes around 15 litres of water and 1.18 kilowatt hours of energy. Next one is the mini 35 degree wash. Uh, with this one, so this is suitable for light low soil daily dishes. Uh, I suppose the idea is that you wash or give them a quick rinse first of all, so just get the, most of the food debris off. Uh, and with this program, so it's only a 30 minute wash, so pretty quick, and consumes around 10 and a half litres of water, and only consumes around 0.77 kilowatt hours of energy. Next program, and the last one on here, is Quick and Shine 60 degrees. Again, it's used for daily washing program for normally soiled dishes in a pretty quick way. Uh, and that's uh, around 58 minute program, and that consumes around 10 and a half litres of water and 1.12 kilowatt hours of energy. So there's quite a good range of programs. I suppose if you're after something a bit more energy efficient, then really that's the program to use, the Eco 50 degrees. So although it takes longer, to wash, it's 210 minutes, so it is a long wash, it's only 0.76 kilowatt hours of energy. Whereas if you come around here, although this will wash quicker, uh, that's a 60 degree wash, so it's slightly higher temperature, uh, but with that one, it is using uh, quite a bit more energy at 1.12 kilowatt hours. So a couple of other options along the bottom here. First of all, we've got the half load option. So if you've done, if you, for example, put on the Eco 50 degree, then you can actually enable the half load option and that will just shorten the time of the wash. I suppose that could be good if you, if you wanted a bit more energy efficient wash, but you are in a bit of a hurry. Uh, you've also got this, so this is a tablet function. So press and hold that for three seconds. That's it, then you get a picture of the tablet at the bottom. And basically what that does, that allows to obtain a better drying performance from the multi-purpose detergents, um, like the things like the two in one, three in one, four in one tablets. And it does depend on the hardness level of the tap water or the water that's coming in to the dishwasher. You've also got a time delay down here. So you can press the button there and it would go between three hours, six hours, nine hours. 
and then it just switches off. So if you want, if you've got cheap electricity during the night, and if you just wanted to delay the start of it, then you've got that option. You've also got a child lock on here. So if you just press and hold that for three seconds, then you've got a little padlock symbol up here. And that's always useful. If you've got kids that come along and if they just like to press buttons, then you can just enable the child lock. And then to take it off, just press and hold that button again for three seconds, and then it goes off. Then you've got the option on the right hand side here for the start and pause as well. I'll just show you the energy label on here. So just showing it's an E energy rating. And overall, an E energy rating for this kind of dishwasher isn't too bad. I know it's not up in the realms of the A's and B's, uh, but you will find if you're comparing it to other slimline models, then that's not actually too bad. Just showing that at 76 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles of energy. Uh, also just showing it's a 10 place setting dishwasher. And you've got 11.9 uh, litres of water. That's for the Eco 50 program that I showed you earlier. And also just showing that it's a C energy or C rating and 49 decibels for noise. To quickly show you around the back of the dishwasher, if you're installing it yourself, then this might be a little bit useful. First of all, you have got a channel at the bottom here. So if you were quite limited for space at the back of the dishwasher, then having a channel here to put some of the pipes could be quite useful actually. Uh, everything is actually located at the bottom. So first of all, you've got the water connection there that you can undo. You can use a different pipe if you needed to, but the water hose is already connected. You've got the waste to the right of it. Then you've got the mains cable to the right of that again. If you're thinking of purchasing one of these models, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Beko DVS 05 C20W Slimline Dishwasher. Would appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I always ask for comments as well, whether it's good or bad about the video. If there's something that you've come here to see, or if there's a particular feature or something the dishwasher does that I've not covered, just pop in the comments and I'll get back to you because I've got this one on display at the moment. Also, if you have got one of these models or if you've got a Beko Slimline dishwasher, let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the honest feedback. Thanks for watching.